Hello kittens! Silver here with Brucey the Boxer, renamed Dempsey by Douglas Cuddle Toys, and we have a rather intriguing package that arrived today. This particular plush was actually discovered by a close friend of mine on Instagram, and I was immediately smitten with it. I think you'll see why in just a moment, so I'm going to open up and walk you through this new pup, so hold on one moment. Okay, here we go. So I really cannot tell you very much about the origin of this plush or the plush brand that makes it. I've never heard of it before just a few days ago or maybe a few weeks ago whenever it was uh, first debuted on Instagram. But it does bear a striking resemblance to Douglas plush, which is why I knew I needed it immediately. I don't even know what kind of breed this is, but I'm guessing it might be a boxer because um, it does look quite a bit like one of Douglas's other boxers. Um, not Brucey here. I think it was Punches was maybe the name, but I am very, very curious to see this guy. So, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So this is a plush by a company called Sugarloaf, which I think perhaps might be sort of a, um, um, a company that produces claw machine plush. I don't know exactly. Um, I've never seen a, a claw machine plush look like this before though. So, oh my gosh, he is so, so adorable. Holy moly. Okay, so let's take a look at his tush tag. I'll show you the, uh, when, I, when I saw the name Sugarloaf, at first I thought that was like the official name, like Douglas names their plush, but it's actually the name of the of the brand but it actually you know it kind of would make a really cute name i think maybe for a dog i don't know if i'll i don't know if that will be his official name um but oh my goodness i absolutely love the fur on this plush i'm thinking maybe he's sort of a boxer mix because he's got a much longer coat than what you would typically associate with a boxer i love the ears the way they fold over that way oh my goodness he probably needs a little bit of a brushing He's a little smooshed, but super, super cute. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love him. And he feels like he's still in very, very nice condition. His, his fur is quite soft. I don't know if it's quite as soft as Douglas's plush, but that's, you know, kind of a, a high bar to reach. So he's about, I would say, 16 inches, much like the 16 inch floppy laying style dogs that Douglas produces. And he really does. I you would swear that this this was a Douglas produced plush, but apparently it is not. But either way, he is absolutely adorable. So so happy to have added him to my collection, and I'm and I'm really glad that my friend was able to uh, make this discovery because I definitely would not have known about this plush if it hadn't been for her. Um, so it's, in terms of floppiness, I would say he's maybe a little bit less floppy than. Um, most 16 inch Douglas plush, but still um, a good amount of squeezeability, huggability. Um, I think he has, no, he actually does not have um, beans that I can feel in his paws. I don't think there's any beans in this particular plush, but look, he's, <laughs> look at his little cute little stubby tail. He's got the white underbelly. And I love these dark markings on either side of his face. And this is definitely a vinyl nose, I'm thinking, or a leatherette nose, which is really, really cool. And let's take a look at his eyes. It's really, really hard to see them, but they do look like they're, yeah, kind of like that sort of brown hazel eye that most Douglas dogs have. So, wow, this is a really, really incredible plush. Definitely recommend this guy if you're able to find him. I would definitely check out the secondhand marketplace if you're interested in him. And uh, I'm very, very, just really, really thrilled with him. Can't wait to kind of clean him up and groom him a little bit and get him looking his best. And yeah, so that's my new Sugarloaf puppy. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing him. And I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you all. Bye, everybody.